Alright everybody, today's video will be about <clears throat> every 1 12th scale custom figure I have, which is mainly going to be Marvel Legends and then a bit of Star Wars and then one other figure. So, without saying anything, well, I just said anything. Well, let's just get into it. The first custom I'm going to be showing you today it was an articulated icon ninja, and all I did was add a little paint to the neck, which it is a different shade as this one, but from far away on a shelf, you can barely tell the difference. So I just added this because that was originally the same color as the suit, and I don't really know if that matched. So I just did this, and I like it just there standing on the shelf. I'm going to group these two together because they're basically the same thing. Um, basically, I just added ketchup to their claws. You know, because Wolverine's such a good chef. Sometimes you just gotta get his claws dirty with some ketchup. You know? There's nothing else this could be. It's just a little bit of tomato tomato sauce. Because Wolverine's a world-class chef. Now, this one's a little more ketchup-y than the others. I thought, you know... When you're that good of a chef, sometimes it just gets all over you, you know? Like, in his hair, his face, it's just everywhere, man. He even got it on his back. Don't ask, don't ask how. Catch up on your back. You never know. But, just added some red paint to simulate the, the ketchup. That's good. And now here's one of my favorite customs. It was... I'm pretty sure the first one that I ever did, and how I did it was the lighter blue nail polish, just added that all around the figure, and then later on, um, I don't know what happened to the nail polish, but I needed to recreate it because I found this hand from a Doom figure, and I thought, oh, well, I mean, the fists don't really shoot out ice, but the palm does, and that just fits Iceman more. So, I recreated it with some white sparkling paint with glitter and a light blue, and I created a similar effect, and I just put it in places where you might see it. And this is one of my favorite customs. Why is it so bright? There you go. You might be able to see him better. Why is it so shiny, though? It's not that shiny in real life. In fact, it's kind of dull. More like ice real life anyway that was the end of the comic book customs and to get off with the mcu customs we've got u.s agent and i sanded off the star added the right colors gave him a gun that's all that's it basically and then there was a little bit of paint that came off right there but you barely rarely see it on a shelf and now we've got logan which, same ketchup, all over his hands. And, but on this one, I added some to his face, too, because I actually had two of these. So it was okay if I kind of roughened him up on this one. And I really like the look. He looks very menacing on the shelf. Keeping it up with Regenerating X-Men, I've got the Merc with the Mouse. Mouth? At least in two of his movies. Deadpool. Now, all I did here was added the black to where it's supposed to be black. And I just love it so much. I mean, because that's originally red. And when I see photos of him, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, that red doesn't really look very good when I look at it now. But I also gave him different guns. And I don't know how, but I lost this sword. So I gave him one that I had to cut up, and then I just put in the sheath. And then I give him a articulated icon sword to, you know, uh, convey the longer sword, which is what I like more. We've got my WandaVision Wanda, which I took the jacket from a, from Miss Marvel, not Cap Captain Marvel, um, that had this jacket, the hands from Scarlet Witch, and then the sneakers from a Black Panther figure, um, forget her name. I don't know. But I like this because, you know, it's what 
It's kind of what she looked like in WandaVision. Well, not really what she looked like, but, you know, this works. Continuing with WandaVision, we've got my custom vision cape. Um, and I like this. I want to get a different head that kind of looks more vision-y. Vision-y. Um, but overall, this figure was good when I got it. But the cape just adds a whole lot to it. It's flexible, there's a wire in it, and it just looks better than the one that came on this figure did. We have Peter Parker. Um, now, it looks really shiny, because it is really shiny. When I did this custom, um, I meant to get dull coat, but I actually, actually got shine. So I sprayed shine, and I was like, huh? And then I kept adding more. Not my brightest moment, but I added the, of course, the lines. And this head sculpt originally sat that far up, and that doesn't look good. So I had to drill it out so that it could actually go on the head. Look good. My most recent and favorite custom, we've got Daredevil from season three of his Netflix show. We've got the head I catch up to up. We've got his ropes, and to you get this body, I used from the neck to the right there. I used Quicksilver, just some normal pants body, Destro, and then a Fortnite figures boots. I really like this custom, and he looks very cool behind his uh, Marvel Legends counterpart. Just, I really like this. Starting off with my Star Wars customs, which I don't have many of, um, we have my Dirty Snow Trooper. Yeah, don't know what I was thinking when I made this. Because you won't know you get dirty on a snow planet. But I don't know, maybe he's like on a different mission, and they needed every stormtrooper in the area. He was just in the area. I don't know, I like this, makes him look cool. But, we have his cooler counterpart, burn trooper which is basically just a figure i held a lighter up to and you know just burned him um there's some sparks sparks parts where it actually is like i burned the plastic but most of this is just lighter stuff and the back i actually didn't do that's cool you know maybe explosion from this side I don't really see it on the back. But, of course, you won't really be seeing his back on the shelf. My very last custom I'm going to be showing you all today. Aw, oh, man. I just looked over and I saw a custom I did. So, this won't be the last custom. So, I have my Mandalorian. This is the Target exclusive one where his head was removable. But I took a different head from a cheap $10 figure put it on here, and then a custom cape. Um, and this cape, like, it didn't really much. It was like that, but then I just put some blue tack, stretch it down, boom, stays like that. Or he just falls. He doesn't fall. I just accidentally pushed him too hard. But that looks good. What I looked over and saw was my actual first ever custom. Another Iceman. So my first custom was Iceman, my second custom was Iceman. But this one, I just popped the pins, inserted them, changed the head, and I made kind of a, what I like to consider, movie Iceman, which isn't actually a movie Iceman. I just saw him in Days of Future Past, and I thought, I need to make that. So I made it. And I like it. I have it in my big shelf over there, where I keep some of my favorite figures, and I just put him here. Anyway, I like him. I think that was our final one. Let me just check. And I am a liar. Because here we have my actual, actual first ever custom. Yeah. Funny how I did that. Anyway. Um, I had the Sentinel. Not Sentinel. I don't remember what this actually was originally. But it came from the Captain Marvel wave. And I saw it and I thought, oh hey, I don't have a Deadpool on the shelf. This could be a Deadpool in armor. And you can kind of see where I got my 
design from. I couldn't really get the red I wanted because I didn't know how to mix paint back then. But I don't know. If you ask me, I kind of still like him. I have him on the shelf. And anyway, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just lying my head off today. I forgot I customized this Peter B. Parker to have the line sculpted in. I just did that because, you know, it was a pretty plain figure before, so I thought I'd spruce it up by at least making it not so bland. I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't count my word on it, though. Remember when I said don't count my words on it? Yeah, well, I was right in saying that because I found Shocker. And all I did was add the lines with the same marker I did with Spider-Man. And this one was a little more sloppy because that pen was out of ink. But I didn't want to have to order another one because none of my stores had them. So I just kept on doing it. And here it is. I'm pretty sure that's my last one. Alright everybody, that was all my customs for today. And tomorrow and the next day. I'm going to be going on vacation and I do not know if I'm going to be filming videos there. So if you don't see me for a while, you know why. And I did not have to say ketchup. I could have just said, you know, it was a bloody Wolverine. I just thought saying ketchup would be funny. I don't know if it was. Hoping that it was. Um, thanks for sticking around even though I lied so much. So much lying going on. I didn't mean to lie though. Hope that makes it better. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.